channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am here with my up and coming third grader and we are going to be showing you guys the new Math 3 from The Good and the Beautiful. Today's video is, want to hold it? Today's video is brought to you in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful and this is brand new. Did you know that they just finished this? Really? Really. And we got a copy of it um, and so we're super excited to show you guys what is inside the activity box that's brand new and then I will um, show you guys kind of like my first impressions of what I think about the new math 3 course book this is part 1 part 2 is not available yet um, but we have part 1 to go ahead and start our new homeschool year for when you start third grade are you so excited Okay, so I am going to show you guys first. So the activity box for math levels three and four um, looks like this, obviously. And inside it are a whole bunch of really fun things. So I'll pass it to you and you tell them what it is and show the camera. So you might have to go a little closer. Like, so tell them what's in there. Dices. Dice of all different kinds and some like pawns for a game maybe you think that's what that's for okay show those, those. building materials good um this is a bag that says fruit and vegetable manipulatives so that's what these are for so these are like cardboard um things that you'll press out that go in here you want to read what that is what does it say? My math journal, level three and four. So show the front. This was something I was super excited about. Um, when I opened it, I uh, briefly skip, like scanned through here. Um, so here's like, it's a journal where they do their math um, and there's like different things in here. Now remember that this is for levels three and four. So. Uh, just all different kinds of like pictures to measure perimeter, measuring area. What do you think about this? Cool. Cool? Does it look fun? Dividing, multiplying, subtracting, adding, adding, estimating, rounding, place value, decimals, digits, digits time, uh, multiplication and division mastery. So that's cool. So lots of really good stuff that they're going to be learning um, using this math journal, which I think is really cute. Uh, let's see what's in here. So this is a book, the activity book, and this has all of the games. So they have a lot of really fun games um, in the math program, and it tells you, uh, this, is, this is actually really, really cool. So it shows you right here the name of the game, and then it shows you the number of players you need for the game, and then it shows you the learning styles that will enjoy this game, and then the materials you need and how to play it. Um, so if you're, if you have like an auditory learner or a visual learner, then these games would be good for them. And so that also comes in the activity box is the whole book of games. Do you like games? Yes. Do you like learning games? Yes. Um, we have, what are these? Tiny little game cards. Game cards, numbered game cards. Show the camera closer a tiny little box um and then here we have ooh, look at those i think those are for the games with these yes and remember the other level had um the they were a little bit different i think these are a little more challenging are you up for a challenge yes. <laughs> so uh these are all they're hard they're like hear the sound I don't know how to describe it um, but Olivia is correct so show them the wooden things so your your kids would use these wooden pieces to create these shapes and do you love doing that 
yeah, that was like her favorite thing that she did. Um, so there's like this woodland walk one, which is, um, it looks like skip counting to me. A multiplication wheel, turtle races. You wanna look at them? Um, Square dancing. That's funny. And uh, the seven continents counting by sevens. So all of these, I mean, there's, look at all of these. There are so many and on the back side, so they're all double sided. So there's so many fun math activities for them to do that I really feel like your kids won't even, they'll think you're just playing games. They won't even be, there won't be any kind of resistance to playing games. So that's everything that comes in the math activity box. What do you think of it? Cool. Cool. Um, what, if five stars is the best, one star is the worst, how would you rate this box of fun? Mm. On, for fun? Probably for five. Five? Yeah. I, I agree. Okay, so now we have the course book. This is the actual, um, like, I guess you would call this where they're going to be doing their work. Um, and in the beginning, so this is the first edition. Um, a lot of people want to know, like, what does it cover? So I'm going to go over that with you guys. So section one is comprised of 36 lessons, and that covers multiplication. Section two is numbers beyond 1,000, and that goes um, from lesson 37 to lesson 63. So this... Um, this book covers multiplication and numbers beyond 1,000 um, for part one. So there's all different kinds of things in here. There's volume, multiplying, uh, arrays, polygons, quadrilaterals, logical thinking, metric system practice. Um, but it all ties in estimation and money, multiplying by 11. It all ties in to those those two broad um you know, mathematical concepts, multiplying in numbers beyond 1,000. Um, at the beginning of the book, they have the math education philosophy. Um, and uh, so it gives you that information there. Um, this, this math curriculum um, appeals to all learning styles. And it gives you, um, at a glance for math three, so course prerequisites, um, some things that your kiddos would need to know before they could begin math three. So let's see if you're ready for math three. Tell me yes or no if you can do these things, okay? Um, can you read, write, read and write numbers up to a thousand? Yes. Can you spell number words? Yes. Can you look at numbers and know if they're even or odd up to 1,000? Yes. Yes. Can you count by ones? Yes. Twos? Yes. Fives? Yes. And tens? Yes. Can you count by threes? We're working on that. You're close. A little. Yes. Can you identify place value? Like ones place, tens place, a hundreds yes. place? Can you add and subtract sometimes in your head? Yes. Good. Can you add numbers that have three digits and carry the one regroup? Can you do that when you're adding and you have to carry? Do you know how to add and carry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, the next one is can you solve adding and subtracting problems that are in word problems? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, compare numbers using greater than or less than? Yes. Can you identify money? Yes. Penny, nickels, dimes. You're good at money. You're also good at spending my money. Yes. <laughs> Can you write amounts of money using dollar signs? Yes. Can you measure inches and centimeters? Yes. Can you tell the difference between AM and PM in time? Yes. Can you uh, write time with hours and half hours and five minute marks? Can you count on the clock? Okay. Can you read bar graphs? Yes. Pictographs? Yes. Tally mark graphs? 
Yes. Congratulations, you're ready for level three. <laughs> so those are some of the things that your kiddo would need to know before starting level three from the good and the beautiful math. Um, so I am super duper excited to teach this to her. We are gonna have a lot of fun doing math and lesson one begins with learning about a mathematician named Euclid. Kind of looks like a wizard. <laughs> she said he kind of looks like a wizard. Um, so the pages are super colorful. They're very interactive. It is not just a page of worksheets, like daunting, just number, 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 number. It's not that way. Um, but I know her favorite things are always the bonus activities. So here, the very first one is roll and solve. So you roll a dice and you fill in the numbers and then solve those problems. Um, and so she loves doing these activity sheets. So uh, that is, it's very easy to follow. It tells you like where to use the journal. The pages are all colorful. It's just really cool. You like it? Does that look fun? Yes, I'm excited for this. <laughs> You're excited for that? Rounding to the nearest hundred and drawing a line to which barrel the number goes in. Mm, that'll be fun. Um, there are some independent activities in here as well. So sometimes, um, you know, it references like your, you can say, okay, I want you to work on that. And then they can do it independently. So I just really love everything the good and the beautiful creates. It's no secret. And I'm really excited about math. So I wanted to show you guys a little preview of the brand new math three with my trusty partner, Olivia. She's going into the third grade. <laughs> Um, and she loves doing math, don't you? And we have the activity um, box as well. So if you've got a kiddo that is ready for this, I would highly recommend it. Um, we're really excited about it. So if you guys have any questions for me, post them down in the comments below. If you have a question for Olivia, post it in the comments below and I will ask her and she will answer if you have any questions for her, right? Okay, and what do I always say at the end of my videos? Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, you can sign us out. Say it nice and loud. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.